Obedience requires denial of ourselves. John twenty one fifteen. Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said. You know that I love you, Jesus said. Feed my lambs. Jesus Christ desires to redeem everyone and to unite all sinners to him, to free them from sin and to make them righteous. With the power of the Holy Spirit, he creates the union of the church in which and through he, un he unceasingly carries on his work of salvation. Peter, John, and five other disciples are eating with the resurrected Jesus on the shores of Galilee. Jesus has just performed a miracle resulting in a huge catch of fish. That echoed on a miracle where Jesus had first called Peter to become a disciple. Only a few days later, Peter has stood by a fire and denied even knowing Jesus. Now Peter stands by another fire and Jesus will make him repeat his loyalty three times. John twenty one fifteen to 19 is a very touching moment between Peter and the resurrected Jesus. Early in his ministry, Jesus inspired a faithful response from Peter by miraculously providing fish. He then called Peter to become a disciple, not many days before this breakfast on the beach. Peter had stood near a fire and denied even knowing Christ three times. Now, in front of another fire, Jesus asked Peter to affirm his faithful love three times. Peter grasps the symbolism. Jesus affirms Peter, calling to serve him, and predicts the matter of Peter's death. Jesus' ultimate motive is to convey his message of love to his disciples and explain to them that their love is not dependent on what they can bring to him. Instead, having better understanding of what they have received through him and love him, because if there is righteous, they are able to receive through him. Behind the statement are two great commandments, to love God and to love others. If we love God because of his love and grace towards us, we will serve him by loving others. So loving Jesus, the eternal Son of God, who gave himself on the cross to rescue us from God's judgment, is the essential motive for serving him. If that motive is not central in our hearts, we just burn out or blow out in our services for the Lord. This short exchange between the risen Lord Jesus and Peter represents Peter's public restoration to his apostolic ministry. On the day Jesus arose, the angel of the empty tomb told the woman, But go tell his disciples and Peter, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him as just as he told you. Those words and Peter would have rang in Peter's ears and lifted his depressed spirit after his miserable denials of the Lord. I think that Peter would have asked the woman, did the angel say, and Peter it assured him that the Lord had not rejected him because of his failure. That same day, Jesus met privately with Peter to reassure him and restore him personally. But now the risen Lord restores Peter to his apostolic office in the front of these other six disciples. Let's examine ourselves today and realize how many times we deny Jesus in our daily life. Now realize how many times he calls us by our name and see his generosity to forgive us and ask us. Do you This message was screws a positive the promise is then the king will say to those on his right Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance. The kingdom prepared you since the creation of the world. Let's close this time for to go. Please join this prayer. Dear Lord, Holy Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, thank you that I am not appointed for wrath, but have been saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Thank you that you have told us that the end from the beginning so that we do not need to fear, knowing that you are in control and that one day you will set up your kingdom of righteousness and peace. We pray that we may receive the heart that understands your will and your righteousness, that we receive and pass your grace to all places in our lives so many may come by faith and accept your grace and righteousness to be saved to receive the inheritance prepared for them since the creation of the world. And Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed enough God to talk to you tomorrow.